Hey, what's going on, my friend? Mike Allen here, and I got a quick question for you. How would you like to generate 50 to 150 or more engagements on every single Facebook post that you put up from here on out? Well, guess what? Today's your lucky day because inside of this video, I am going to share you every single step that you need to make here in 2019 to be getting the max engagement on your posts so that you stand out to be an authority on Facebook. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dive in. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and dive on into this because I want to give you these tips and I wanna make this video as short as possible. But before, before we get into this, I do wanna show my page to you so that you can see that I'm actually getting results with this. I actually walk the walk instead of just talking the talk. Um, so let's go ahead and I am going to close these and I will show you my page. So I have a post here that I put up just about an hour ago. It's got 40 likes already. Well, 40, what, 41, 42, 43 maybe, and 46 comments. I'm gonna show you inside of the tips how all of this works and start ramping things up very, very quickly. But please note that doing Facebook Lives is going to build your following. As you can see right down here, I've been growing my following consistently. And it's going to be less interaction. You're going to have a lot more comments, but your uh, your engagement, your likes, your loves are going to slowly ramp up. And I'm going to show you all of this inside of this video. Also, business posts are going to get way less engagement, and so are photo posts. It's just how it goes. But I do want to scroll down, and I want to show you some of my posts and what I'm getting with this. So here's the live that I did yesterday. It's got 21 likes. It's got 59 comments, and it's slowly working its way up. Um, here's another live that I did the day before. It's got 24 engagement. It's got 141 comments, uh, six shares, 111 views. So it's working its way up as well. Here's another one. Be fearless in the pursuit of what sets your soul on fire. It's ramping up close to 75, 63 comments. And I can scroll through. Um, so what basically happens is I'm going to show you this process. But throughout the week, you're going to get more and more and more engagement. It's not just like, pow, you're going to have like 200 likes on your post. It just doesn't work like that. If it did, it would be fake bot traffic. But I do want to show you how this does ramp up. Um, if we go back about a week, this one's got uh, 81. Today is actually May 8th. So let me go back. Um, this was a, a Sunday post, so weekends are slower. Um, actually, it was up, up a little more. Uh, but let me go down here about a week in, and I want to show you. See, this one's got 112 um, engagements on it. It's got 65 comments, two shares. Um, if I go down a little bit more, I've got one that's got 120 engagements, 73 comments, one share. And it just, it'll, it'll stay big, 124, 67, and so on and so on and so on. Um, but now I want to show you how to do this. Okay, I want you to be able to get these results as well. So let's go ahead and dive in. So what are these tips that is going to help you get more engagement here in 2019 from here on out? The first step is going to be more engaging on people's um, posts on your newsfeed. You have to go out. It's like reciprocity. You go out and you engage with other people's posts and they're going to come back and engage with you. So what you want to do is you want to go out and you want to love. Don't just like it. Be a step above that. Love their post and then put in a actual comment inside of that post. So I do this on my phone because it's a lot faster. I open up the newsfeed. I scroll to the first post. I love it. I read it. I love it, and then I put in a thoughtful comment. I don't just put the thumbs up, or I don't just put cool. Um, I put in a thoughtful comment. Then I go to the next person. I read the post. I love the post. I put in a thoughtful comment. You want to do this for 30 to 45 minutes every single time before you post. So if you plan on putting a post up, then you need to be posting, uh, or you need to be engaging 30 to 45 minutes in time before you put that post up. So if you're going to post about 7 o'clock, you need to be on Facebook at least by 6.15 going through this engagement, going post to post to post to post to post, and reading it, loving it, and then putting in a comment. Go to the next one, and you want to do this for 45 minutes. Now, I do want to say the stories are big as well. You want to open the stories for about 10 minutes because this um, allows you to actually send messages to people's inbox, and I'm going to go over that here in a little bit. But whenever you open up stories, you read their post, and then you put a heart 
that actually goes over to their inbox and you can put a comment in there as well oh I hope you're having a great time on vacation that gets sent over to their inbox which is firing up the inbox algorithm which I said we're gonna talk about here in a bit as well as the news feed and stories algorithm so that is something that you have to keep in mind this is all going to fit together here in a second so 10 minutes inside of the stories and the rest of the time you need to be on the news feed engaging with people's posts you do that they're gonna come back and they're gonna love your stuff second you have to be posting content for your audience and not for you don't just think because you think that's funny everybody else on your audience is going to think that's funny once you can once you start posting consistently you're gonna understand what your audience wants if you're a network marketer then you need to be posting good valuable content you need to be posting motivation inspiration training videos do Facebook lives that have training um, you know anything that's going to help and inspire and give people results is what you need to be posting on your page yes you can throw in some lifestyle with that but keep it uh, to a to an extent where you're just serving the community you're serving them by motivating them you're giving them positive training that is actually going to help them inside of their business instead of thinking well what's in it for me what's in it for me you build that authority you're gonna have enough for you I promise that so uh, make sure that you are posting or your your content to your audience and not for you also do not post more than three times per day and you have to spread each post out within three hours so if you post at 6 a.m. don't even think about posting before 9 a.m. you have to give it that three hours if you don't you're pulling from your previous post so if you put up an awesome post at 6 o'clock very motivating it starts going viral and you put up a post at 730 you're gonna pull away from that first post so that first post is not gonna keep that momentum and it's just gonna die out right it's just gonna it's gonna die out and nothing good's gonna happen and then you're gonna kill your second post because um, you're probably gonna post by by noon or by another time that's gonna be close to that so up to three times a day I usually go about two times I like posting in the morning something motivational because when people get out of bed what do they do they grab their phone and they look at Facebook I want something that is going to motivate them to get them to jump out of bed and get the day started that's how I'm getting a lot of results in the morning it's growing quickly um, and then by midday I can do a Facebook live and then sometime in the evening I can put up another motivation or I can even put up a curiosity post about my business or my products and services so post um, content for your audience and not just for you and space those posts out with every well, within every three hours or more and then um, you know make sure you're not posting more than three times per day the next tip is going to be engage with the post comments so everybody that is commenting on your post you need to immediately do that the first uh, 15 to 30 minutes of your post is the most crucial why because this is how it's gonna go viral you wonder how people put up a post quickly and so many people see it that's why whenever they uh, whenever somebody comes to your post and you just put it up they loved it or they liked it and they put in a comment you want to go in there and you want to love their comment remember we're taking that step up we're loving stuff and then you want to put in a comment under their comment now I like to leave that with a question so that they come back and they comment again this is how you see people getting so many comments they comment then you comment asking a question there's two comments they comment back there there's three you reply back you ask another question there's four comments and then people are gonna see oh my gosh there's a lot of comments on this post I'm gonna go engage on this conversation as well so now you get somebody else doing that they comment you comment ask a question they comment you comment ask a question now you're carrying on conversations with people and this is building the growth of your post I hope this is like an aha moment because when I dove into the Facebook algorithm it just hit me it was like oh my gosh this is what Facebook has been meant for but I'm you know I thought way too much about it I overthought it and I wasn't getting results but you go out and you engage with those people for the, the first 15 to 30 minutes you need to be you need to immediately do it don't just wait till later in the day to get back to it you need to immediately comment on those so that Facebook Facebook sees this is a viral post we need to get this out to more people um, step number four inbox this is the inbox method you need to be spending 95% of your time that you are on Facebook inside of the inbox building relationships 
A lot of people, they waste time on the news feed. They just scroll through. They watch cute kitty videos, and they just think it's, you know, hunky-dory, and they wonder why they're not getting results on Facebook. You need to strictly put your posts up, and then you need to be in the inbox building relationships with people that are commenting on your stuff, people that are coming in organically, people that you have on your friends list. You need to be um, engaged with them as close to 100% as possible every single month. So um, the, more, the more your audience grows, the more your friends grow, the more work that you're going to be doing. But how bad do you want this? If you really want to stand out, if you want to get a couple hundred engagements on every single post, you have to do that. You have to be in the inbox building the relationships with people that you're friends with. If you don't know them, then get rid of them. If they don't seem like a fit for your business or a fit for your vibe that you have going on for your Facebook, get rid of them. If they're not connecting with you, get rid of them. You don't need them on there. But be in the inbox, spark up new conversations. Hey, what's going up, Sa or what's going on, Sally? It's been a while since we spoke last. I just wanted to reach out and say hello. How's your day going? Now they write back. It really is that simple. Um, so be in the inbox 95% of the time and build those relationships with as close to 100% of your friends as possible. The next one is going to be adding 25 to 50 new people every single day. This is how you're going to grow your audience. And I do not want you to go out and just follow, 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 or, you know, friend, 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 friend. Don't do that. You want to follow targeted people. So go into actual groups, not network marketing spam groups. Go into groups of stuff that you have in common with people. What are your hobbies? Do you like, like me? I like fishing. I like uh, country music. Um, I like going to uh, NFL Chiefs games. I like, I like doing stuff like that. I love football. I love basketball. I love baseball. I can connect in groups for that and start building relationships with people. And if what I'm talking about on my page is congruent with the people that I'm reaching out with, they're going to connect with me. And they're going to see my friend request. They're going to come to my page, and they're going to accept my friend request and start talking to me. Now, not everybody is, but you're going to go out and you're going to find uh, maybe mutual friends with people or just find people in those groups and bring them to your page. Now, like I said, when you start adding more people, you have to consistently be building the relationship with people. Don't just add them and leave them uh, because that's just going to hurt you. What you want to do is you want to add them as a friend. You want to, you want to look over their profile, add them as a friend. Send them an inbox message saying why you are adding them as a friend, why you want to connect with them, and then go to their profile and love their post, and then give them a good comment on there if you can. If you can do that, that's going to increase your chances of them seeing who you are. They engage, or you engage with them, so they're going to come back to you and do the exact same thing. Now, the more that you're adding people, the more people are going to show up on your newsfeed. Stay consistent with them. Stay consistently commenting, loving their posts, and sending them messages throughout the week, throughout the month. Stay in contact with them, and you are going to see your engagement go up and up and up and up. Yes, this can be a lot of work. The more friends that you have, the more work that it is, uh, entitles you to have. But if you do this step by step by step, you're going to see results with this. So that is my five steps on being able to get more Facebook engagement here in 2019. If you did get value from this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please put a comment down in there. Let me know what you liked most about this. And uh, hit that subscribe button and click the bell notification right by it. Let me know that you love this content and I will keep putting out more content like this. So with that being said, thank you for watching this video and I will see you in the next one.